Hey guys, Mike here, and uh, I'm making a video here for you today. Uh, as most of you guys know, I haven't made a video in quite a while, and the reason why is just because uh, you can kind of tell my tell by my voice. <clears throat> I'm not feeling that good uh, again. Uh, feeling a little better, but you know, it's there, here, and there. So anyway, um, I decided decided I'm gonna make a new video for you guys today and kind of show you what I'm using now for my water bowls and all that kind of good stuff and where to get the stuff from. Alright, so first, let me go ahead and start. Uh, here is a, it's a two gallon bucket. Uh, got, it at, got it at Lowe's and I keep my fresh spring water in here. And you'll see why in a minute. And here's my other five gallon bucket that I, uh, keep all my dirty water in, as you can see, there's a cup in there right now, uh, you know, I unthaw my rats and all of my mice and all that kind of stuff from here now, <coughs> and there that is, alright, first off, let me get started by showing you how I do it, alright, so as you guys can see, here is a, this is a two inch PVC piping, PVC pipe, I got it at Lowe's. This is a little more expensive one. I think it's a dollar twenty. But the reason why I got this one is because of how the deli cup fits. As you can see, if I put it in there and I press down on it, you see I'm pressing down in the middle and stuff like that. It's not going anywhere. If I just would have got the other one with no like little threads around it. <clears throat> It would have just fell right through when the snake pushed on it, and you know you would have had the same problems filling water. But anyway, I just got this one, spent a little bit more money, and it saves me time and it saves them water. Um, okay, this is how I basically do it. I have a two-inch PVC pipe, and I got a two-ounce uh, deli cup, what people use to call these. Uh, I show you the actually box what I got them out, got them out of. I got them at Sam's, and here's a box right here. They call them portion cups or uh, baker chef cups. Anyway, I got uh, 2,500 two ounce portion cups. This is what they come in. So yeah, <clears throat> usually people refer them as deli cups. And if you go to Sam's, and you can't find deli cups, but you see these here. You see the these there? They're basically the same thing. They really are the same thing. Yeah, just a little different name. But anyway, that's a two ounce, pretty much deli cup. You can call them portion cups, whatever. And, okay, this is how I do it. I just pull out the PVC piping, or PVC pipe. I usually don't even pull it out. I take it, take the two ounce deli cup, whatever you want to call it. Throw it in there. I have a fresh new clean one up here, never been used. I dip it into the course of spring water. And just, there you go. Put it right back in there. Move the snake if I have to. There we go, that's fine. And that's how I do it. And as you guys see here, you see I just leave it in there. Boom. Take a clean one if I can get it off here. Dip it. Boom. That quick. And that saves you a bunch of time. That's basically what a lot of professional breeders do. Um, just because of time wise and kind of like Brian Barczyk, if you have a collection of his size, you definitely don't want to be taking out these little things and cleaning them and worrying about if it's clean or not. So you just do it this way, get a two inch PVC pipe. And you get the two ounce silly cup, fits perfect in there, and you just use a new one every time. And you know it's going to be clean, because you never use it, apparently. And like that one cost 22 bucks for 2500 so that lasts me a while. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much how I feed, or feed, that's pretty much how I water my snakes, and how I do it now. Give you a little update, he shed. See his colors really well. Nice blushings on him. Let's see. Yeah. 
but he's looking good. <clears throat> and I have the temperature probably about, I think it's 103 right now, which is about 91 hot spot. Here's a little damn female spider. I love her. She has kind of a little attitude with, not really attitude, but, you know, she's a baby. You're a baby. What do you expect? You know, she, but once I get her in my hand, you know, she's fine. She has struck at me a couple times, but, of course, she missed. <laughs> she's looking good. She's looking really good, actually. I like her. And here's a pin. He's getting, he's eight for me once, she's eight for me once, and sad to say it, uh, he has not eight for me yet. Uh, hope to see him eat soon. He might be going to shed, actually. Mm, maybe, I don't even know, he's not going to shed, but that's a female. But he hasn't ate for me yet, so I'm going to offer him a live a live fuzzy mouse or something around that size. See if he takes it. And if he doesn't, that's fine. I just kind of help him out, uh, feeding him a frozen fuzzy. So she's in shed. She been in shed for a couple of days. Here she is, nice and warm. Just how I. I like them to be. Her color colors are really dull right now, but some nice sides on her. Let's see if I can get a good shot of her eye. Anyway, she's in the shed, like I said. So she hasn't. I offered her a fuzzier uh, mouse, but she hasn't taken it. Just because she, I think she, it's because she's in shed, which is normal. So, and speaking about normal, <laughs> here's my normal female. She's ate for me twice already. First time I offered her a meal, she took it right off the bat, which just made me happy. And if I can get her out of here, she likes getting in here, getting stuck. And as you guys can see, she's the biggest I got. She's. Gosh, she, oh yeah, she's in the shed too. She feels blue eyes. Perfect example right there. Has a blue eyes. And I'll wait here real quick for you guys. Uh, convert it to grams. And let's see how much she weighs. 191. And that's how much she weighs. And She's putting some size on her, <clears throat> making me happy. So, all right, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry, kind of made it this long, but just wanted to show you guys how I water my snakes and a little update. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Uh, catch you later.